Welcome to a voyage of discovery that will take us to the cornerstones of Christian faith, where history, culture and spirituality blend seamlessly. This journey is about more than just travel. It's about exploring the very roots of a faith that has shaped civilizations, inspired art and guided billions. Our voyage begins in the heart of Catholicism, the Vatican City, where St. Peter's Basilica, an architectural masterpiece, stands tall. From there, we journey east to Jerusalem, a city that has seen the birth, crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ, featuring the Western Wall and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Next, we'll travel to the quaint town of Lourdes in France, home to the Sanctuary of Our Lady of Lourdes, a symbol of hope and healing for millions. Then we'll explore the serene landscapes of Assisi, Italy, where the Basilica of St. Francis stands as a testament to a man who renounced worldly pleasures for a life of poverty and simplicity. Our journey continues to Santiago de Compostela in Spain, where the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela beckons pilgrims from all over the globe. We'll also visit Bethlehem, the birthplace of Jesus and Rome's ancient catacombs, a sprawling underground network of tombs. Then we set sail for the tranquil shores of Athos, Greece, where the Mount Athos monasteries stand as proud guardians of Orthodox Christian traditions. Our journey then takes us to the hallowed halls of Canterbury Cathedral in England, a symbol of Anglican faith. Finally, we'll tread the ancient grounds of Ephesus, Turkey, where the Basilica of St. John stands as a symbol of early Christian architecture and faith. Each destination holds a unique story, a unique culture, and a unique experience waiting to be discovered by you. So pack your bags, bring an open mind and heart as we embark on this divine journey. Our first stop is the Vatican City, the spiritual heart of Catholicism, and the majestic St. Peter's Basilica. This architectural marvel, designed by masters like Michelangelo and Bernini, captures the essence of Christian history. Its awe-inspiring interior, decorated with intricate frescoes and gold-plated sculptures, houses the grand altar built over St. Peter's tomb. Don't miss the chance to climb to the top of the dome where a panoramic view of Rome awaits. The Vatican also harbors the Vatican Museums, home to a vast collection of art and historical artifacts. The crowning jewel of these museums is the Sistine Chapel, renowned for its ceiling painted by Michelangelo. And when you've had your fill of spiritual and artistic indulgence, be sure to delight your taste buds with traditional Italian dishes. Try a classic margarita pizza or savor the creamy richness of pasta carbonara. A visit to the Vatican is a journey into the core of Christianity, a fusion of faith, art and Italian cuisine. Next, we journey to Jerusalem, a city that breathes history and spirituality. Home to the Western Wall, an ancient limestone edifice, this site resonates with the echoes of countless prayers whispered over centuries. Devotees from around the globe come here to press their heartfelt prayers into the crevices of this sacred monument. Just a stone's throw away is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre where Christian tradition holds that Jesus was crucified, buried and resurrected. Stepping inside is like stepping back in time into a world steeped in deep reverence and solemn beauty. But Jerusalem isn't just about sacred sites. The city's rich culture is a tapestry woven with threads of diverse traditions and the Middle Eastern delicacies are simply not to be missed. From mouth-watering falafels to heavenly hummus and tantalizing shawarmas, every meal is an adventure of flavors. Jerusalem, a city where every stone tells a story and every meal is a feast for the senses. We now travel to the serene town of Lourdes, home to the famous sanctuary of Our Lady of Lourdes. This tranquil sanctuary, nestled in the foothills of the Pyrenees, is a beacon of hope and healing for millions worldwide. A place where the Virgin Mary is said to have appeared 18 times to a young girl named Bernadette. The unique culture of Lourdes is steeped in tradition and faith with the sanctuary at its heart. The town teems with a vibrant religious fervor that is almost palpable. Candlelight processions, healing baths, and the famed Grotto of Massabiel, where the apparitions occurred, are all integral parts of a visit to this spiritual haven. But Lourdes is not just about spiritual enlightenment, it's also a gateway to the gastronomic delights of France. Relish the flavors of traditional French dishes like cassoulet, duck confit and tarte tatin, amplifying your experience of this remarkable town. Lourdes is a testament to faith's power, a place where miracles are believed to happen and French cuisine is at its best. 
Continuing our journey, we explore the rich Christian heritage in Italy, Spain, Bethlehem and Greece. Our first stop is Assisi, Italy, home to the Basilica of St. Francis. This grand edifice stands as a monument to St. Francis, the patron saint of animals and ecology. It's not just about the sacred architecture, it's about the tranquil vibe that seems to permeate the very air here. And while you're in Italy, don't forget to try the local gelato. Each scoop is a taste of La Dolce Vita. Next, we journey to Santiago de Compostela, Spain. This city is the final stop on the famed Camino de Santiago pilgrimage route. The Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela, an architectural marvel, is a testament to the faith of millions of pilgrims over the centuries. Spanish tapas are a must try here. Each bite-sized delight is a culinary journey in itself. From Spain, we travel east to Bethlehem. Here, the Church of the Nativity stands as one of the oldest continuously operating Christian churches in the world. It is traditionally believed to be the birthplace of Jesus. The local cuisine is a flavorful mix of Middle Eastern staples. The falafel and hummus here are a must-have. Lastly, we venture to Athos, Greece. This monastic community on Mount Athos is a spiritual sanctuary, home to 20 monasteries. It's a place that seems almost untouched by time. And Greek cuisine? It's as rich as its history. The moussaka here is a hearty dish that's sure to satisfy. These places are chapters in the grand narrative of Christian history, each bringing its unique flavor and flair. Our journey now takes us to the heart of Anglicanism, the Canterbury Cathedral in England. Standing tall since the sixth century, this magnificent edifice is more than just a cathedral. It is a symbol of faith that has weathered the test of time. It's where the Archbishop of Canterbury leads spiritual communion, a beacon for Anglicans worldwide. As you wander through its hallowed halls, you can't help but be swept away by the captivating blend of art, architecture and faith that fills every nook and cranny. But your visit won't be complete without immersing yourself in the local culture. Take a leisurely stroll through the charming cobblestone streets of Canterbury, soak in the town's rich history and revel in the warmth and friendliness of the locals. Don't forget to indulge in traditional English dishes Delight in a hearty shepherd's pie or a comforting bowl of fish and chips. Savour the sweet delicacy that is the Kentish tart, a local favourite. Canterbury is a fusion of faith, history and the quintessential English charm. Finally, we set foot in Ephesus, once a bustling Roman city and home to the Basilica of St. John. This grand structure stands as a testament to the Christian faith, built over the supposed tomb of John the Apostle. Remarkably, the Basilica's ruins still echo the tales of ancient times, with its once grand columns and intricate carvings bearing witness to the city's rich past. Ephesus, though, is not just about ancient ruins. It's a vibrant tapestry of culture that's alive and well today. Walking through its streets, you'll catch the rhythm of Turkish life. From the lively bazaars brimming with colorful textiles and ceramics, to the melodic call to prayer echoing through the city. And let's not forget the food. Ephesus offers a culinary journey as rich as its history. From succulent kebabs to sweet baklava, every bite is an exploration of Turkish flavors. Ephesus is a journey back in time, a place where history, faith, and Turkish cuisine intertwine. This journey into the heart of Christian faith has taken us to places rich in history, culture, and gastronomy. As we journeyed through the Vatican City, we were awestruck by the magnificence of St. Peter's Basilica a testament to the enduring faith and artistic brilliance. In Jerusalem, we were moved by the spiritual intensity of the Western Wall and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, standing as timeless reminders of the Christian faith. Our hearts were touched in Lourdes, where the sanctuary of Our Lady of Lourdes offered solace and peace. The Basilica of St. Francis of Assisi in Italy, the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela in Spain, the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem, and the Mount Athos Monasteries in Greece, each presented a unique blend of faith, architecture and tradition. In Canterbury, England, the Canterbury Cathedral stood as a beacon of Christianity, its history woven into every stone. And finally, in Ephesus, Turkey, we marveled at the Basilica of St. John, a ruin that still whispers tales of the Apostles' life and work. But the journey wasn't just about the destinations, it was about immersing ourselves in the diverse cultures, embracing the local customs, and indulging in the gastronomical delights each place had to offer. From the hearty Italian pastas and the aromatic Spanish paellas to the sweet baklava of Turkey, our taste buds were on a journey of their own. 
This divine journey was also a reminder of the ties that bind us all, of shared faith and common humanity. It was a testament to the power of travel in opening our minds, expanding our understanding, and deepening our connection to the world around us. This divine journey reminds us that travel is not just about the places we visit, but also about the new perspectives we gain. Until the next journey, stay blessed and keep exploring.